Hey everyone, the name is Eric Thor, and today's video is called My Quarantine Struggle. And okay, so we've spent quite a long time now in quarantine here in the Netherlands, and I think we are past the two-month mark since a while back even. So I have to say this has been a testing few months, and it's been extremely difficult, especially in the beginning part of this whole experience. So... COVID-19 has probably been one of the worst things that I've gone through. I had to cancel my Toronto trip. I had to uh, yeah, say goodbye to my coworkers. Uh, and uh, I could never go out or leave the house more than for short intervals. So yeah, for both me and my girlfriend, it was a very difficult time, especially because we were stuck in an apartment uh, that was so small for the both of us. Just a small studio, one bedroom, and one big living room slash kitchen. That's all we had. And so we had to make the best out of it. And we were both working a lot on the phone, answering phone calls. And so it was uh, difficult to be sure to micromanage and to make sure we wasn't talking over each other and interrupting each other and getting each other in each other's way. Now, with everything canceled and with no family visits, with uh, no ability to go back to Sweden, my past, my home country, to visit family, or with no ability to visit her family or friends, uh, we were extremely isolated. And I'm sure a lot of you have been too. I'm not saying I'm the only one going through this, just that, yeah, this was what it was for us. And uh, yeah. We can only thank the gods for our good health and for uh, the fact that we yeah, love each other and uh, that we uh, made the best out of the situation and we were very creative. So for us, uh, what we ended up doing was we refocused our thoughts completely. If we, since we knew that we were not going to be able to travel, uh, since we had to cancel all our travel plans, we knew we could focus 100% on getting a new apartment. And so this video is an upbeat one, not a negative one. I want to share with you uh, what we built in the past few weeks and what we've been able to make in this time. So I identify as an INFJ personnel type. And one of my main difficulties is, and I talked about this in a recent video, laziness. So that's something I really come to face head on in the past months. Uh, realizing that I'm quite a lazy person. I tend to postpone things. I do things slowly. I'm bad at managing my time and putting effort into things. I don't have a lot of energy or motivation for a lot of things. So yeah, I have a tendency to just sit on my ass and think and think and think and think and think. And that's what I do. Uh, but now we actually managed, made something happen. and We focused and we got this really beautiful apartment. So we managed to find a really beautiful place in Harlem, the Netherlands, and that's where we live right now. We moved from Amsterdam, the Netherlands, to Harlem, the Netherlands. So it's quite close by, still very close to work, still very close to life, to the airport, to all things uh, that you need and want in life, and to friends and everything. Uh, and we found a bigger apartment, about two and a half times as big as our old apartment, with storage space and everything, and a balcony. A balcony where we could go out, even if we can't really be out that much. A balcony where we can go out and sit and enjoy a nice dinner or lunch or a glass of tea, a cup of tea. So, yeah, that's made such a difference. Also, getting a bathroom with a bathtub and uh, getting a nice kitchen environment and a nice living room environment. Yeah, it's been pretty amazing, if I can say so myself. So, this is the kitchen area. Uh, here we are drinking cups of tea uh, and uh, yeah we got lots of flowers because we both like flowers in nature. Here's uh, me having a uh, lunch, a soup, uh, pumpkin, pumpkin soup on the oh, sweet potato soup on the balcony. Here's uh, another picture of the new couch we got. Um, this is all the cardboard we ripped up, putting furniture together, moving things and uh, ordering new things to fill up the apartment with and getting, selling, buying, throwing out, uh, repairing, fighting to get things together. This one was especially difficult. Has anybody ever put together a Pax Ikea closet? That's, oh, that's hell on earth. Now, I wanna say something surprising and that is I enjoy putting together furniture. I find it actually 
fun because I like the figuring things out aspects of it. How does it work? How do I do it? How do I make it happen? Now, what I noticed was, uh, yeah, I took a, it took a lot longer than what you thought to put it together. And uh, it was a lot more work than you always expected. Now, if you're a cat like my cat Marvel, then it's pretty easy. My cat Marvel, he is really enjoying and living the time of his life nowadays. He's just uh, like you're laying around uh, enjoying uh, watching us work. And that is what cats do, I guess. <laughs> uh, this is also our bedroom. That's the mural of Stockholm, the city where I was born. And uh, yeah, there's once again my cat Marvel in the corner next to the Hermione Granger. Uh, pillowcase that we got and some more flowers that we got from a neighbor uh, real nice of them uh, here's some nature pictures around Harlem so yeah it's a beautiful area this is all just around the corner so it's so easy to get to and find these places uh, here are some toys for Marvel that we got to make him feel comfortable and um, yeah some more pictures of the nature and surrounding area it's extremely beautiful here we are so happy to be here and so much looking forward to life, especially life after Corona. Uh, today was actually the day in the Netherlands where restaurants and uh, terraces started opening up again. So yeah, I, based on our numbers and what's happening around us, we do get the feeling that things are getting better, but we also feel a sense of awareness of uh, we don't want to make it worse and we don't want to spread it too far and we don't want to get the virus. So we are still quite reserved and restrained and we still avoid big masses of people and we still uh, yeah, try to take it easy and avoid especially public transport. But at least we are making the best out of a diff difficult situation. And now we're starting to really dream again and dream of travel and dream of seeing people and family members again. So that's what I'm feeling now. Life is looking up, things are moving forward. And yeah, we just gotta make the best of it, right? I hope you're all doing well and I hope you're all managing through the situation. And uh, especially my thoughts are with everybody in the US right now, facing all these riots and all the things that are happening in this country. Uh, my thoughts are with all of you and uh, yeah, keep up the good fight and uh, uh, keep trying your best to make the world a better place. That's the most important thing. Thanks for watching everybody and I hope to see you all in the next video.